guys, I need you to stop. Please stop requesting him to come on the vlog because when he comes on the vlog, things get crazy. He's back. Welcome this guy. Back. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog, everyone. Um, by popular demand. I got You guys got to calm down. Really, you got to calm down. Um, but by popular demand, Gavin, Ignition Lane, we're talking tech, we're talking venture, we're talking startups, we're talking all types of products. Um, let's start, let's start. VC investments are at an all time high. An all time high, Crunchbase, which is the source of data when it comes to cap raises and venture capital and the like. They said that the global VC investments at an all time high of yep. 125 billion in the first quarter of 2021. Yep. That's huge. Uh, B, billion, billion, 125. Um, and like, we, we know that you're a big deal, but actually there's uh, some really big deals going off here in Australia as yeah, well. Yeah, there right? was. Like we're, we're talking about the last couple of weeks, there has been hundreds of millions of dollars deployed in, into technology startups in Where, Australia. Where's it coming from? Is it coming from the, uh, the success of what tech has done during pandemic? Yeah, so I think it's coming from a lot of different angles, right? We've got Australian funds like Main Sequence raised another $250 million for yep. their deep tech fund. Yep. We've also got international uh, venture capital firms like Insight Venture Partners investing in Australia. And that was the big deal. The second biggest deal Australia has ever seen, yep. Octopus Deploy, yep. Brisbane founded over $200 million into a bootstrap business for two um, successful entrepreneurs. That is- From Brisbane. That is- That's unbelievable. Huge. Bloody huge. Um, I, used to, I was gonna say, I used to watch Jim Owen and he, and he would always comment in his Irish accent. That's bloody huge. Yeah. That was a segment. Anyway. So, so the, just to, to put into context, the largest ever raise into an Australian tech startup was Campaign Monitor yep. 2014, also by Insight Partners. Uh, and from a ratio perspective, I know Canva didn't raise as much, but from a percentage perspective, yeah, Canva's so, still the darling of Well, clearly, uh, tech, at, at yeah? $20 billion, capital is cheap for them. Just like when we spoke about yeah. a little while ago, Stripe. Now the most successful startup out of Silicon Valley is a private company, $95 billion. They raised 600 million a couple of months ago, yep. less than 1% dilution. Insane numbers, but Mr. Yum? Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got a lot of capital raises happened last month, so let's just smack through it. Yep. Safety Culture First yep. raised 70 million plus. Yep. Uh, they're now 2.1 billion US dollars with a B again. Uh, that officially takes them into the unicorn status yep. as a, in a US dollar, yeah, a US dollar amount. Mr. Yum, $11 million. Adventus, another 11 million for a 22.7 million Series A. You know, we had over in New Zealand, AgTech, Halter, 32 billion New Zealand dollars raised by Blackbird, uh, led by Blackbird. Wow. This is a lot of capital going into lots of different types of startups. So it's not all just SaaS businesses. Yeah, totally. I, we heard Matt Allen on this morning talking about having too much money yep. uh, as a venture. Um, well, Matt, Matt was saying, you know, don't want to give too much money into these uh, businesses. Um, what, yeah. What's your position on all yeah, that? So I think that with all this capital flowing into the market, there are a lot of different pathways um, for founders to be able to understand which way do they want to grow. Do they want to grow via acquiring more customers via customer revenue? Yep. Do they want to um, grow by taking venture capital money and equity, which means that the founders will have a smaller piece, but of a bigger pie? Mm -hmm. um, or do they want to go down new methodologies, uh, new financing options like Matt was talking about for Tractor Ventures, which is revenue-based financing, yeah. so more like debt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's, it's, just, it's just an obscene amount of money. I hope that these founders are maintaining control um, in terms of the, the influx of cash hasn't changed their focus or shifted their focus, and they're still actually day in, day out executing. It's about execution. Yeah. It's about, but let's talk about what's huge. Yeah. Grab, yep. Singapore, yep. they're going SPAC. Yep. I know you love your SPACs. SPACs. $40 billion is what the target is for that SPAC. So uh, that's pretty huge. Are they, have they got anything to do with um, any, are they, are they investors? So I know a lot of other uh, ride share, Grab ride shares. Um, I know a lot of other ride shares have invested. Are they out on their own? Is Uber behind them? Uh, no, they've got, they've got, they're, Uber aren't behind them, but they've got, uh, I mean, they're huge in Southeast Asia yeah, no, as, I, a, as an organization. I was in Singapore, it's, it's crazy. Uh, people. People, there's been lots of big, big people moves over the past couple yep. of weeks. So let's start at the, at the big, at the macro level, right? We've got Daniel Petrie, who was uh, a, a lieutenant to Bill Gates uh, in, the, in the 90s uh, at Microsoft. 
He started with Craig Blair Airtree. Yep. Airtree now have over a billion dollars of money under uh, capital under management. Yep. And he's moved to a chair role. Yep. So he's moved out of an operating day-to-day -day role within Airtree to a chair. Yep. I think that's quite significant. Yep. Um, they, along with Blackbird. I like um, what Blackbird's done. Yeah, that, well, they, along with Blackbird and Squarepeg, have said that they want to create generational VCs, which yep. means that that's all about succession planning. It's yep. about how do we set ourselves up for today, for the next billion dollars, we're going to have funds under management in the next billion dollars. But yeah, talking about Blackbird, I mean, they appointed Robin Denham as the uh, first operating partner at Blackbird, and we know where she's from. I was going to say, tell her where she's from. Well, she's an operator, so she's been, let's start, you know, she was CFO at, uh, at Telstra, yep. but she's Elon Musk's boss. She's currently the chair of Tesla and now an operating partner at Blackbird. I think that is a huge win for them. I've actually got goosebumps. That's a huge win for them. It's a huge win for the Australian startup ecosystem as well. That's a big boom. Um, awards? Awards. Uh, so awards season is here. It's not just yeah. the Oscars, but back here in Australia, we've got the National Online Retail Association. Yep. They threw their awards night. You know, we all know retail's gone boom during yep. the during COVID. It's come yep. off a little bit in yep. the, as we start well, to uh, come out. E Ecom retail. Ecom, yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and then um, we also saw the AFR Best Places to Work come out, mm. and we saw Seek take out the top gong for tech businesses. Yep. But they Not also surprised. took out the overall best place to work in Australia, which is a huge result for them. I'm coming for you, Seek. I want that award That's right. here at Cubes. And then we just want to touch on some pretty cool stats. Yeah. And that is that YouTube, I'm not sure whether you remember, but, but back I in do. the day, YouTube was acquired for, what, $1.65 billion. From the garage. Um, now, 1.65, we all thought that was huge for YouTube. Well, now they're generating $1.65 billion in revenue every three weeks. Unreal. Isn't oh, that insane? three weeks. I thought it was every quarter. No, every that, three weeks. Every three weeks. Even insane, faster than that. That's an insane Even number. Even faster than that. Um, I, lo I love my AirPods. Tell us about AirPods. So AirPods revenue in 2020 was $23 billion. <laughs> so let's have a look at that. That is more than Spotify, Twitter, Snap, and Shopify's revenue combined are these little gorgeous AirPods. They're amazing, use every they day. are amazing. Um, it blows my mind that they would be a Fortune 500 if they were any other business, but because they're just a business division of That's Apple right. to support the ecosystem. It's insane. Breaking it's insane. it apart is, it's, it's just insane. an insane number. And then iPad. Well, the iPad did more revenue last quarter than Netflix did. Let's put that into perspective. I mean, that's huge. <laughs> I, um, they're going to do more this quarter because they just released a new iPad and I, I think it's time for an upgrade. Yeah, I think this one's due for an upgrade as well. Mate, we could go on for hours and hours and hours. We have so much content to cover, but we wanted the best of the best. That's it. Gav, thank you. Hey, and by the way, I love your shirt. Oh, stop it. I love your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people, uh, Gav wears a black V-neck most days. So to see him in anything but. I'm trying. I'm mixing it up for you guys. It's trending. Mixing it up for the audience. All right, guys. Thank you.